a coke-fueled rampage, a short-lived menage a trois, and nearly half a mil spent on high-end call girls. Charlie Sheen may think he's hashtag winning in love, but his lawyers may think otherwise. Every moment of your life looks like the first two minutes of Law & Order SVU. <laughs> Back in 1989, a fresh-faced Charlie Sheen was engaged to fellow actor Kelly Preston. The relationship, however, would spur one of Sheen's most legendary myths. Rumor has long had it that Sheen shot Preston, thereby ending their courtship. As far as absurd Charlie Sheen stories go, this one might seem pretty believable, but turns out we've had it all wrong. According to reports, Preston was shot in the arm and had to be taken to the hospital, where she received stitches, but Sheen claimed that the gun accidentally went off. While on tour in 2011, he gave an expletive-laden speech to a crowd of fans and finally explained what actually happened that fateful day, at least according to him. He recalled, I was downstairs early in the morning making coffee, and I thought she was still asleep upstairs, and I heard a gunshot go off. I thought, she did it. She killed herself, and they're going to blame me. The actor said that he rushed to the stairs only to find Preston covered in blood and holding her wrist, which he thought was, quote, pretty hot. Sheen explained that Preston had accidentally shot herself when she took his pants off the bathroom scale. Unbeknownst to her, there was a gun in the pocket. Speaking to TMZ that year, Preston insisted that Sheen did not shoot her and the whole debacle was an accident blown out of proportion. Charlie Sheen's first wife was model Donna Peel. The pair met on a modeling shoot and wed in 1995, but their marriage was blighted by salacious tabloid stories. At the time, Sheen was embroiled in a huge scandal involving self-styled Hollywood madam Heidi Fleiss, who claimed that the actor had dozens of sexual encounters thanks to her services. Accordingly, his relationship with Peel soon disintegrated. That year, Sheen testified at Fleiss's trial, telling the jury that Fleiss had arranged for him to meet with at least 27 sex workers. He'd spent a whopping $50,000 on various sexual encounters. In 2018, Fleiss told The Hollywood Reporter that Sheen heavily downplayed the number of women he procured from her. She also claimed the total sum of the escapades amounted to a small fortune. According to the former madam, on the stand, he said a much lower amount than he actually spent with me. He probably spent closer to $300,000 or $400,000 on girls. He said something like $60,000. It's a boys' club. It's the boys protecting the boys. The scandal would be one of Sheen's earliest, but it certainly wasn't his last. In time, the star developed a reputation that has surpassed even our wildest expectations. Charlie Sheen has turned a few heads in picture-perfect Malibu when he turns up at parties with former X-rated actress Ginger Lynn. Adult performer Ginger Lynn, who dated Charlie Sheen in the early 90s, has thoughts about his supposed legendary bedroom prowess. Lynn told The Sun in 2011, I helped Charlie become the amazing lover he is today. He was good, but I helped him to give back that little bit more. According to Lynn, Sheen was initially a selfish lover, and it was her tutoring that enabled him to fully satisfy women. In a separate interview with the Los Angeles Times, Lynn further alleged to have seen an aspect of Sheen that is seldom discussed. She painted the actor as a misunderstood soul, explaining, There's a side of him that I don't think many people hear about, especially because right now everyone's focusing on the negative. I have the soft, the considerate, the sensitive, the warm, the scared, the encouraging sides. Indeed, unlike many of his subsequent relationships, Sheen and Lynn did appear to share a deep bond. Sheen wrote a letter to a Los Angeles judge on behalf of his lady love in 1991 when Lynn was facing prosecution for tax evasion. He wrote, in part, that she was, quote, one of the finest people I've ever known. Despite Sheen's efforts, Lynn ultimately did jail time. By the late 90s, Charlie Sheen had become romantically involved with adult performer Brittany Ashland. Their relationship, unfortunately, was anything but rosy. Shortly into their romance, Ashland alleged that Sheen had subjected her to domestic violence. In February 1997, Ashland filed a lawsuit against Sheen, claiming he had brutally assaulted her late the previous year. Ashland was reportedly thrown to the floor by her hair and needed stitches in her lip following the alleged attack. She also claimed that she was warned not to go to the police under the threat that Sheen would kill her. Although the actor initially maintained his innocence, with his reps calling Ashland's claims a cheesy attempt at extortion, he eventually pleaded no contest to battery. 
Subsequently, he was handed two years probation on the condition that he received counseling and performed community service. Ashland's lawyer, Gloria Allred, also facilitated a settlement between the two, though the terms remain private. In 2002, Charlie Sheen married for the second time to former Bond girl Denise Richards. It appeared that the twosome were madly in love, with Sheen getting his new bride's name tattooed on his wrist. Four years sober, the actor claimed to people that he was a changed man. The couple welcomed two children together, Sam and Lola, born in 2004 and 2005, respectively. Although things seemed to be looking up for the troubled star, Richards allegedly began to notice that her husband was engaging in some particularly troubling behavior. She filed for divorce in 2006. Richards alleged in court documents that she caught her husband watching videos of what she described as very young girls who looked underage and gay pornography also involving very young men who also did not look like adults. Richards was granted a restraining order from her ex, and his visitation rights were also restricted. Denying his ex's accusations, Sheen told TMZ, "...this is a most obvious, immature, and transparent smear campaign designed to hurt, embarrass, and ultimately extort me." In 2015, he dubbed Richards as the worst mom alive in an admittedly nasty Father's Day Twitter rant that has since been deleted. The old adage says that third time's a charm, but for Charlie Sheen, his relationship with wife number three ended as catastrophically as one would expect from the self-proclaimed Tiger Blood King. Sheen met actor Brooke Mueller against the backdrop of his acrimonious split from Denise Richards in 2006. At the time, Mueller told People that she was trying not to be phased by the bad blood between her beau and his ex-wife, saying, "...we just focus on our love." The couple tied the knot in 2008, and Sheen expanded his brood when he and Mueller welcomed twin sons the following year. Unfortunately, but perhaps not unsurprisingly for Sheen, this would prove to be yet another failed marriage. On Christmas morning 2009, Sheen allegedly tried to kill Mueller. She claimed that he threatened her while holding a knife to her throat. According to her police report, Sheen warned, "...you better be in fear. If you tell anyone, I'll kill you. I have ex-police I can hire who know how to get the job done, and they won't leave any trace." Sheen was arrested on suspicion of domestic violence and spent Christmas Day in jail. He eventually pleaded guilty, and in August 2010, Sheen was sentenced to probation and ordered to attend anger management classes and rehab. To this day, I'm not sure how I created such chaos and, and, and wound up in that in that headspace. Things only got worse for Charlie Sheen as 2010 went on. In October of that year, he took adult performer Capri Anderson to a New York City hotel where he reportedly began behaving erratically, trashing the room in a violent outburst. According to sources cited by TMZ, Anderson claimed that Sheen had been holding her against her will. Afraid for her safety, she allegedly locked herself in the bathroom. But Sheen, who was taken to a hospital following the alleged coke-fueled rampage, insisted that the story was being blown out of proportion. He told Radar, "...oh, my man, I'm fine. I know what went down, and that's where it will stay, under wraps." The actor's publicist further claimed that the outburst was caused by a negative reaction to medication. Sheen later filed extortion charges against Anderson, asserting that she fabricated claims of him choking her, but he dropped the case in 2011. By 2013, it was reported that the duo had reconciled and Anderson had apparently moved into Sheen's home. An insider told Radar, "...Charlie and Capri pretty much just act like none of that craziness from the past ever happened. It's the weirdest thing." We win so radically in our underwear before our first cup of coffee, it's scary." Much has been made of Charlie Sheen and his so-called goddesses. Following his divorce from Brooke Mueller in 2011, he formed a thruple with adult performer Rachel Oberlin, best known by her stage name Brie Olsen and graphic designer Natalie Kenley. Sheen discussed his menage a trois with ABC News, declaring that he was living his best life. "...they're an international sensation. Um, these are my girlfriends. These are the women that I love that, um, that have that have completed the, uh, the three parts of my heart." Oberlin at the time was eager to marry Sheen, who hinted at being open to the idea of a polyamorous marriage. But not everyone was thrilled with this arrangement. Oberlin's mom, Marie, told People that she was concerned for her daughter. She explained, "...I wonder what he promised her. I just don't want to see her hurt." Only a few months later, however, Sheen revealed that Oberlin had dumped him via text message. 
Following his disastrous relationships with his first three wives, Charlie Sheen moved on to Skatine Ross, also known as Brett Rossi, and swiftly popped the question. But this engagement was anything but straightforward. As Radar reported, Ross was still married to her husband Jonathan when Sheen proposed in 2014. But the couple called it quits later that same year. Sheen told the Los Angeles Times that although he and Ross had a fabulous time together, including traveling the world, he called off their engagement so he could focus on his kids. In 2015, Ross filed a lawsuit against Sheen, accusing him of physical and emotional abuse. Speaking with People, she claimed that the actor beat and isolated her and also made her quit her dream of becoming a nurse. She further revealed that she was scared for her life. Ross was granted a restraining order against her ex after he apparently threatened to have her kicked in the head. Sheen denied all accusations against him, though the lawsuit was eventually settled. Being physically intimate with someone while intentionally concealing an HIV diagnosis could, in many states, have serious legal repercussions. Yet Charlie Sheen has admitted to doing just that. In 2015, he appeared on Today and went public with his HIV diagnosis. Sheen conceded that he did sleep with people after discovering he was HIV positive in 2011, but claimed that transmitting the virus to any of his partners was, quote, impossible. But, but the two people that, that, that I did that with um, were under the care of my doctor, and, and they were completely warned ahead of time. Speaking at a 2016 event in London, Sheen confessed that he didn't tell a number of his lovers about his HIV status, saying, The only times I didn't tell them was because the last 25 times they used it against me and used my medical condition for their own folly and financial gain. I never did have unprotected sex when I knew I had HIV. I wouldn't do that to someone. I would not. What people need to focus on and need to understand as, as absolute truth is that no one, I've infected no one. Sheen added, they claim the sorrow and the pity or whatever, but that's on them. I know the truth. Understandably, his admission angered many of his exes. In Skatine Ross's 2015 lawsuit, she accused the actor of hiding his HIV status from her when they first met. Another of Sheen's exes, identified in court documents as Jane Doe, filed a lawsuit against the actor in 2017. She alleged that Sheen not only lied when asked if he had any STDs, but then told her not to take antiretroviral drugs when he eventually disclosed his HIV status. That lawsuit was settled in August 2022 for $120,000. If you or someone you know is dealing with domestic abuse, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. You can also find more information, resources, and support at their website.